Have you used personality profiling to help you in creating stories for your marketing? Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And as I said, today we're talking about the storytelling because there's lots of different stories we can use. And one of the really key ones that resonates with your ideal client is knowing their personality type so that you can actually create stories around that personality type. Now, obviously, there's a lot of personality profiling tools out there. I'm just going to use the example of DISC today. If you don't know DISC, you can do some Googling and find out about the DISC profile. But the I in DISC uh, tends to be my ideal client. They're that person when you walk into a party um, everyone's drawn to that person. They're kind of like the life of the party. But from a business perspective, because my ideal client um, is a business person, they tend to be the big vision person. They come up with lots of amazing ideas for their business. They can see the big vision of where they want to go. Their problem is actually implementing and getting there. So I tend to attract a lot of those type of people because I can take their big vision break it down into actionable steps and help them actually achieve it. And we often see, um, you know, a meme out there about, you know, starting at one point with a project and then you zigzag all over the place and never actually reach the finish line. That's kind of the I personality type. So my goal is to get them from A to B and um, achieve the goal that they want to. And so when I create social media content, I start to talk around that whole thing of are you zigzagging all over um, you know, did you start but you zigzagged everywhere and haven't quite finished the um, finish line? I talk about having lots of uh, programs and products on your virtual shelves but never actually seeing the light of day. I create stories around all those sorts of things or maybe you've got a big vision but you don't know how to bring it to fruition or, or bring it to reality. So there's lots of different things you can do around your ideal client. And, again, I don't. it's not that I don't deal with, the D's, the S's and the C's out of the DISC profiling. I certainly do, but um, I tend to attract more eyes and they're the people I know that I can help in a specific way because of the way that they're wired and the way that I'm wired. Being an S personality type, I can take that big vision and help create that um, plan so they can make it happen. They can have a marketing plan that they end up reaching their goals. So what I'd love you to do is go out and try and look at who is your ideal client and what is their personality type. So if you haven't done ideal client work before, um, make sure that you do some work on that. I'll put a resource below for you to learn a little bit more about personality profiling, but a great exercise to do. Um, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.